Hi guys, welcome to Adam Matt Collar TV. I'm Adam Soul. Jose Mourinho has had his press conference ahead of the game against Salta Vigo, the first leg of the semi-final in Spain. This is really, really big game now. We've got, we've got this game and the semi-final second leg. Win these two games, we're in the final in Stockholm. We've got Ajax 2-0 up against Leon at the moment, so they're doing well in their first leg. But United today... Um, United today, we've confirmed, we've got good news at least, we have confirmed, yeah, that Smalling, Jones, Bailey and Pogba are fit for the game. So that's great news to start off with. Given the injuries that we've had, no Zlatan, no Rojo, no Mata, etc. No Timothy Fosu Mensa. It's great to have these guys available for selection. And Jose Mourinho was pointing that out as well in his press conference saying, it's great to have these guys back. Not in terms of the, the Premier League, because we've had a difficult month in the Premier League where we've had to be playing with a lot of the same players and it's come too late in the Premier League. And you feel that's in relation to the Swansea game where we dropped a lot of points. But now, um, now we've got him back ahead of the semi-final against Salta Vigo, which isn't going to be easy. Yes, they are in poor form in the, in the La Liga. They're not doing great, but they've had the benefit of resting their key players. They've got a few players that can cause us problems. Unfortunately, we won't see Giuseppe Rossi, who's one of my favourite academy players over the years. He was an absolute baller, and it was a shame he didn't do too well at Manchester United. But he's injured, so he's not playing for them. They've got a few good talents, though. Iago Aspas is one. One of the lads that was playing for uh, Rostov. Sorry, not Rostov. Uh, who was it? Played against us last year for Midgetland as well. Um, so they've got a few decent players. They'll be confident at home in front of their own fans. And to come against Manchester United, they will be well up for it. This will be one of the biggest games of all their, their history. So it's a huge game for them. Now, Yacoub says we've got to stick all our eggs in the Europa League basket. And that I think that's obvious now um, going into this game because the Swansea result has done our top four chances any Ah, oh, they're gone in my opinion. Liverpool won. All we can do is hope that we can catch Manchester City. But the best bet was beating them at their place. We didn't go there to do that. We drew the game. Missed an opportunity. We drew against Swansea. Missed another opportunity. And now, we go into this game where it's taken on more importance. And we need to win this match. And we've got selection issues. Um, although, Smalling, Jones, Bailey, Pogba being back is great news. Ralex reminded me his name is Sisto. Someone said... They want Fosu Mensa to play. And as Milan has pointed out, Fosu is injured. He's dislocated his shoulder, so he's not available for selection. Uh, Jose Mourinho also confirmed Luke Shaw's injury means his season is over. And we're waiting for a few more um, test results to confirm just how long that's going to be. Absolutely devastating news now. Zlatan Ibrahimovic picked up his injury. And I think although there's talk coming out that the club will allow him to continue his um, development at Manchester United and his, his, his recovery at Manchester United. Uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic is very unlikely to pull on a Manchester United shirt again, given his injury and his contract status at the moment. And then you look at Luke Shaw. Now, obviously, he's a younger player with potential um, and is a fantastic player, but he's had so many injury problems over the year. Could that be his last game? I hope not. I don't want it to be Luke Shaw's last game. But I think that's a question that we've got to ask because... With Luke Shaw picking up that injury, um, it means his season's over. Just as he was trying to fight back and get into the team and he was saying, look, I want to fight for my spot here. And now it could be taken out of his own hands. If his injury means he doesn't get a pre-season, then that could be the end of him. But we do hope he's back for a pre-season. And I am talking too soon because as Jose Mourinho said, we're awaiting further test results. But good news on the injury front, Smalling, Jones, Bailey and Pogba are back. Having those defenders back is key. Bailey looked injured at the end of the game against Swansea. Now, I know Jose said he's available and he's ready to play. But if he is still carrying something, then it'd be nice to be able to rest him. Maybe go with Smalling and Blind or Smalling and Jones or Jones and Blind. So there's options available there now if we do want to rest Eric Bailly because he does need a rest after that hectic April. But Manchester United now, we go into this game and we've got a few more players available. What is your team? What is your team? Get it in the comments below. We've got Barbados in the building. I've already mentioned Jakub, Bleon, Ryan, 
We've got loads of people in the comments as well. Thank you all for getting involved. And I want you all to get your teams in now. Get your teams in in the comments below. Once I've finished this live stream as well, why don't you go and check out the Joshua vs. Klitschko vlog that I uploaded today from the weekend. So go and check that out. So my predicted lineup after hearing Jose Mourinho speak is that we've got... I'm going to go with... Could he play David De Gea? Do you guys think he might play David De Gea? What do you think about that? Because, the reason I say that is because in the last game, before the last Europa League game, when he was asked about Sergio Romero, he said, look, Sergio Romero's going to play, but he's not my Europa League goalkeeper. So I kind of feel he was leaving it open for him to pick David De Gea in the competition in the future. Nigel's saying Dave should start. Uh, Big T saying De Gea's in his eleven. And I think David De Gea will start this game as well. So I'm going with David De Gea, Valencia, Jones. Uh, sorry, Valencia. Valencia, Jones, Blind. Ashley Young. Then I think Fellaini will come back into the side given that he's suspended in the domestic campaign. Um, so Fellaini, Pogba, Herrera. Then I'd go Mickey with his record in the Europa League. You don't drop him. Rashford. And Lingard. That's my team. That's my team. Um, so David De Gea, Valencia, Jones, Blind, Young, Fellaini, Herrera, Pogba, Mickey, Lingard, Rashford. That's my team. Guled. Bailey is fit. Bailey is fit. Jose Mourinho was confirmed in his press conference today that Smalling, Jones, Bailey and Pogba are available for selection in this game. Um, somebody asked for a Luke Shaw update as well. The update on Luke Shaw is that we're still awaiting results um, in regards to his tests that he's undergone and the ligament damage that he sustained to his foot. But Jose Mourinho has confirmed that his season is over. Uh, Liquid Hill says Ajax are tearing Leon apart. Now, obviously, anything can happen in a second leg. But with Ajax winning, it looks like it could be my dream final. United against Ajax. We've got to get there, though, first. And this game against Salta Vigo is so important for Manchester United. This game is huge for Manchester United. Junaid says, hashtag Pogback. I suppose we can use that again. Um, Governor wants to see a 3-4-3 with Twanzebi, Blind, Darmian, and Valencia, Fellaini, Pogba, Young, Lingard, Matter and Rashford. Could that happen, guys? Do you think we will see that again? Uh, Sam Nevis says Rashford looked tired and frustrated in the game on Sunday. The beauty with him is he's so young um, and he seems to just get fresh each game as it comes along. Um, so I think, yeah, uh, Marcus Rashford will start this game, but I do agree with you as well. Um, am I resting Bailey ahead of the Arsenal game? I think he needs a rest anyway, but it'd be nice to see him get a rest ahead of that game. Um, regardless of whether our season is over or not, we don't want to lose games against Arsenal. So we need to go into it um, against these guys with a strong, strong team. Um, thank you for watching the AJ vs Klitschko vlog. Remember, if you haven't seen it, go and check it out. Also, guys, hit that subscribe button. BLZE, is that ballsy? How you doing, mate? I'll give you a wave. Uh, please don't start Rooney, says Ryan. Rooney was not in my 11, but he's in anybody else's 11s. Let me see, guys. You guys get your comments in below. Is Wayne Rooney in your 11? He's in Yakub's 11, but is he in your 11? Jack Ingerfield says, let's play 4-4-3. Yep. Play an extra player. That might help us get a goal or two. <laughs> Juan Mata, the man for the big occasion, says true story. It's great to see Juan Mata battling back as well. I hope he's available for selection. I didn't see that part of the press conference. I don't know if I switched off too soon or whatnot, but... He was training after the game against Swansea as well and he was on the bench against Swansea. So I suppose Jose didn't need to confirm that he was back because he was already in the squad the last game. So Juan Mata being available, could he start? Actually, you know what? I'm changing my 11. I'm going to go David De Gea, Valencia, Jones, Blind, Young. Then I'm going to go Fellaini, Herrera, Pogba, Mickey, Mata and Marcus Rashford. That is my team. Boss Ibrahim says Axel ain't going to start and I do tend to agree with him as well. I don't think Axel Twanzebi will start in this game. The numbers have jumped up now. We're nearly on 200, run around 170 at the moment. So guys, get sharing this, get liking it, get commenting below. 
Um, get subscribing if you haven't already. And watch your score prediction for the game. Remember, Jose Mourinho has confirmed this morning Jones, Bailey and Pogba is back. Rooney's available selection. He's started the last two Premier League games. We've got uh, Mata, who was on the bench in the last Premier League game. Didn't play, but was seen doing extra training after the match. Why am I not starting? Smalling says Guled. I don't want to see us change the whole back line. And I think Smalling wasn't playing great before his injury. I think Blind hasn't done too badly at the heart of the defence. So I would like to see him play. Juned says start Marshall. I'd like to see Marshall play as well. But can we start everybody that we'd like to see play? I don't think we can. And I don't think Jose Mourinho will start him in this game. Um, given that he started the last two games. But... I wouldn't be surprised. I'd like to see him start, but I don't think he will. Junaid says 1-1, 1-1 and 2-0 at home. Says Ibrahim Rashford says 1-1. Yakub says 3-0. 3-1 uh, United says Ballsy. 1-0 Scrappy wins. Says Pranish. 3-0 Yakub. Yusuf Jahel says Mickey will score. Says Farouk. And it's funny because if Mickey Terrian does score for Manchester United in this game, he will break a club record, becoming the first player to score in five European away games. Mickey Terrian would become the first United player to score in five European away games in one season. That would be fantastic for Mickey Terrian as well. His first goal for Manchester United, I think that came in a European away game. Um, and he's hit 10 for the season so far. It'd be nice to see him push on from there. Him and Mata are the closest to Zlatan Ibrahimovic's 28. They've both got 10. Martial will start, says Kanish. 2 1, says Zane. Uh, X I legend. I can't. 11, 11, legend, 4 was it? Um, says 2-1, I think. Sartak says 2-1. 2-0 uh, at home, says Daniel. Uh, Anthony says 2-0. 7-0, uh, says Nathan Rahat, says 2-0. Uh, which Premier League team is similar to Sartre, says Jack Hugh. I genuinely don't know. I don't watch too much of them, to be totally honest with you. But what I do know is, they have a few players that could cause us problems. They're not as bad as their, their league form suggests because they've been resting their best players um, and uh, it'd just be typical if someone like Iago Aspas, an ex-Liverpool player, scored a goal, wouldn't it? Nigel says 2-2. 1-0 two, two. Uh, United, Rashford to score against us. Sean, Shane, sorry. Sorry, Shane. 2-1 uh, to United being realistic, says Ahmed. Uh, where's the Bush cam? I don't know if Bush cam's happening today. Big up from Switzerland, says Owen. How you doing, Owen, mate? Thank you for getting involved. 2-2. Uh, two, two. Nigel, I got your prediction. Abdullah says 2-0 and Arhavad says 4-0. No more Damian, says Urshad. Why no more Damian? I think he's done all right recently. I know he's not the greatest, but he hasn't done too badly. And he played well against Chelsea as well. Mickey and Matter play so well together, says Finn. They do as well. Uh, John's predicting a nervy match, but 2-1. Uh, Pioni Sisto, he's from Midgetland. I'm sure he played for Midgetland. He has played against us before recently. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the preview for tomorrow's game. As I've said, Smalling, Jones, Bailey and Pogba are available for selection again. My predicted 11 um, is David De Gea, Valencia, uh, Jones, Blind, um, Ashley Young, Fellaini, Herrera, Pogba, Mickey. I'd love to see Marshall start, but I think he's going to go Mickey, Mata and uh, Marcus Rashford up top. I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Manchester United. I think Mickey's going to break the record. Uh, Martial coming off the bench to score a goal as well. We'd also have Rooney on the bench, which would be nice. Hussein thinks Fellaini's going to score a hat-trick. Bloody hell, he would have had his wheat a bit, say. Um, yeah, so that's the game. That's, we need to win this game. Or we need to not lose this game, sorry. Um, losing this game is catastrophic. We can't go into Southampton, Tottenham, Arsenal and Crystal Palace being our last four league games. Hoping to get Champions League football through the league. We need to do it through the Europa League now. We need to do it through the Europa League. And we need to get a good result in Spain. They have the full capabilities of beating us at their place. And we need to make sure that does not happen. Guys, thank you all for joining us. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like, comment and share. I'm Adam McCola. I'm out of here.